In this video, I'll show you guys how you can use a simple dowel jig to create a strong joint when gluing two pieces of wood together. Now the jig in particular that I'll be using here is the Powertech 3 8 inch doweling jig. Now there are lots of different types of dowel jigs on the market, but I think this one is pretty simple to use, so let me show you how. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is take my rail pieces and find the center point, make a mark. Then I'm gonna take my pieces, making sure to make note of uh, which side looks best. And basically just getting it mocked up like I want it. Then I want to, with it lined up, I want to make another mark and transfer it to the other piece. And now I have done a trial run of this already and I found that you really want a fine point for this mark because the more accurate mark is, it's going to help you line up uh, this jig accurately and make sure you get this perfectly lined up. So the finer the point, the better I found that it is at getting it 100% accurate. And basically I'm just gonna do that same thing for each of my uh, four corners. Something worth mentioning that I forgot to do initially is when you are marking your joints here, make sure to label each side like A, B, C, D, um, so that way, you, when it comes time to pairing them back up together, you know exactly which joints go together. All right, and so as you can see, I now have marks in all my four corners on both of my pieces, and that's gonna help me uh, line up this jig uh, when it comes time to drilling the holes in each of my pieces. So first up is go ahead and start drilling some holes. I'm gonna start with my rail pieces first. And basically what I'll do is I'll just take that mark that I made uh, on my piece and then there's a line here in the middle uh, and I want to get that completely lined up with that mark that I made. And I want to make sure this thing is sitting flush and not angled. You want this to be as straight as possible and absolutely on that mark. So to make sure I'm exactly on that mark, I'm just going to clamp this in place. All right, to get this thing set up, just gonna clamp my rail piece to the table. I'm gonna take my jig and clamp it to the uh, piece, getting that line on my jig lined up perfectly uh, with my marks on my jig. All right, I've got my piece clamped to my table and I've got the jig clamped to the piece. Got quite a few clamps on here because it's important to keep this thing steady while I'm drilling so that way it doesn't uh, shift on me and these lines uh, get unaligned up. So basically the next step is I just need to drill in my holes here. Uh, I've got my provided drill bit, bit with a uh, stop collar here. Uh, I've set it to the depth that I want for this size pen. And now I just need to drill my two holes. It's important to make sure that your uh, drill bit and stop collar is as straight as possible because you wanna make sure that you've got uh, straight holes in here for your dowels to go into. That's just gonna help with the alignment. All right, so next up is I just need to drill these holes and then repeat that process for all of my other pieces. To join these two together, I'll do the same thing uh, using my line as a reference. I'll set my jig up on that line and then I will drill into the side of my style pieces. Put a little dry fit here. So I've got my dowels in one piece, take my two lines and line them up. All right, so as you can see, 
that's pretty good. By the time I put glue and clamps on here, I'll be able to clamp this thing together pretty good. Um, so, and those dowels will just add some strength to this joint here, uh, especially in combination with the glue. All right, so now I just need to repeat this process for each of my corners on all of my three doors and then it'll be time to get these uh, glued and clamped together. So let's do a little dry fit here and see how we did. I'm gonna put my fluted dowel pins in here. Alright. That's darn near perfect. Uh, by the time I get glue and clamps on this thing, uh, that's going to be a really nice uh, looking door. Uh, this was the first joint that I did and that's the most uh, unaligned, but to be honest, it's barely unaligned. Uh, the others are just darn near perfect. So I'm really happy with that method. It's going to give me a super square cabinet door uh, and these joints should be plenty strong with that glue and dowel in there. So I got one down, I got two more to go. Alright guys, and that's how you can use a simple doweling jig to join two pieces of wood together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a little something along the way. If you did, consider giving this video a like for me if you don't mind. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you all again soon for another video. Bye.